Warning, this footage contains explicit language. I've chosen to keep the video unedited to authentically capture the raw passion and urgency of the moment. This means you'll hear everything as it was said, reflecting the real emotions involved. Please be advised that due to the nature of the content, YouTube might demonetize this video. I believe, however, that the authenticity and the message are more important than the monetization. Viewer discretion is advised, and I appreciate your understanding as we explore these powerful real life events. Hey, what's going on, y'all? So today I want to share a video I came across on Instagram. Not sure if you guys seen this video or not, but it's a video of a mom um, coming to the scene of her son getting arrested. And she has some words for her son. And her words were very impactful. And it's something I want to share with you guys because this mom is breaking traditions. You know what I'm saying? She understands the severity of the situation and she getting a a hold of it and i appreciate her i applaud her and i want to share this story with you guys this video does have explicit language so if that offends you i'm give you a warning now but before we get into this video man here on broken traditions we're about breaking away from traditions of toxic black culture if you're into that kind of content you have that kind of mindset please join the movement and by joining the movement you can subscribe to my youtube you could join my patreon you can follow me on my new rumble i'll put a link in the description also, you can find me on Instagram and threads. I'm trying to build an online community of like-minded people who want to break away from toxic traditions. Also, in the pinned comments, I'll leave a link to my website. And on my website, there's a pop-up that will come up. You can submit your email. And in your email, I could directly contact you guys when I do live streams, post content, when I do giveaways. All right, I appreciate you guys. So let's get to this video. I came across this video on Instagram. Not sure who's the first person who posted it. But you know how the algorithm works, right? Everybody posts stuff. Uh, right here, I see it says the floor seat informer. So I'll go to that Instagram page and see if that's where the video is at. And I'll put a link in the description if that is where the video is at currently, right? So the floor seat informer, the floor seat informer, that's right here in the bottom of the video. So let's get to this video right here. This mom coming to this, her son getting arrested. I think, like I said, for high speed chase, but let's go. In the corner how the fuck did you end up over here because they was coming to get his friend what did i tell you about being a fucking follower you don't got nothing on your record and you with your fucking dumb ass cousins yeah i call them dumb dumb sometimes man kids need that real rawness that real talk you know what i'm saying because you can't coddle them all the time you can't just have these you know, kick glove conversations with these young men because now you're in the real world and you got to have the real conversations with these people. And this mom see the severity of her child not having a record following his dumbass cousins, as she calls them. Right. I'm going I'm to I'm gonna just agree with her on that one. But let's continue on. As fuck. If it wasn't for my client calling me Whitney, where my ear pod at, I would have trusted that she was over Keisha's house. And that's that's the sad thing right there, man. He could easily lose his mom's trust. You know what I'm saying? He might not be in a position to be on his own as a young man, and he got to still need the help of his mom. He might lose her trust. You don't want to lose that. <laughs> Losing trust is it's like, a, what is it? Like a, like a glass being broken. You could put it back together, but it won't be the same. You better hope they let you go with me, because this is what the fuck I was telling you. Dumbasses, who don't got nothing to fucking live for? They ain't on your path, Twan. Dumbasses ain't got nothing to live for. <laughs> that is deep right there. That's deep because... Deep, it's, it's too many crash dummies out there. It's too many crash dummies out there. And what crash dummies do is they recruit other crash dummies to be a part of the crash dummy missions and the crazy part about it when you're not a crash dummy when you have a path to be on what happens you the one that get jammed up you the one that get locked up or you the one that get shot and killed it's the same thing over and over again something happened to somebody and they be like why was he there that's not his life that's not his build 
But unfortunately, people want to be attached to something. And his mother, she sees that. I applaud her, man. Let's continue on. They ain't got a mom like me, nigga. Something said, don't take them clothes off. See about your motherfucking son. With who? He with my child. It don't matter. My child don't got shit to live for right now, you dumbass. His mom don't got no control over him. Mm. You don't stand. Listen, I'm sorry. They don't. They don't take you. And when they don't give a fuck, they don't got. They doing their job. You a young black man. I don't give a fuck how a song. Cause I'm gonna I'm stand up for my trail too. I don't know what happened, but God got me here. You ain't never been in trouble, son. This is everything mommy be telling you about. Everything. Everything. And I done called you 20 fucking times. You know how many moms call they son? They don't get the fucking answer. See him? Nothing. And you. You hear that passion, that, that anger, that concern in her voice. Say, I called you 20 times. You know how many mothers call their sons 20 times and don't get to see them? You know what's probably racing through her head at that time? And she's upset, but I think she's also pleased that she could see her son in the States because it could be a lot worse. In the back of a fucking cop car and you graduate, you got prom on Saturday. I ain't checking you to get the license. I can't trust you now, nigga. You asked to go around the corner. You broke your trust for your cousin who don't got shit going for himself right now. You better be glad I showed the fuck up because they would have took all y'all dumb asses. They waiting to get y'all. Where's my trail? As angry as she is, you got a good mother. All right. <laughs> Even the cop had to intervene and say, as angry as she is, you got a good mother. The cop knows because the cop is on the street all the time. The cop is collecting crash dummies all the time and he don't see nobody coming for these crash dummies. And now you see this mom coming in intervening and telling him as it is and the cop knows the cop's like you got a good mother this is such such a, a learning lesson moment for this young man this is such a blessing for him that hopefully this don't go on his record because damn man it could be a lot worse Not everyone cares. Fine, like no said, like i said you ain't in trouble with us Gotta watch out how you look. You hang around, right? Right? Yeah, that. All right. Um, I promise you, honesty is gonna go a long way. Did you throw anything from the car? No, I swear on my life, okay. I didn't throw anything. Okay. I was just trying to come home. Okay. Um, and you were coming back to this location? Yes. Okay. And who yeah, I was just coming to spend night here, but just not like my actual. actual Did home. they know that you were coming here to stay the night? Yes. Look, you can ask her right there. Okay. Oh, cool. Um. Why is there a magazine to a firearm in, in the trunk magazine? of the car? Yeah. Oh, a, a, there's a Glock magazine in the trunk. I'm, I'm, I'm being too fully right now. Okay. I haven't, I haven't well, who, whose car is it? It's, it's my mom's. But my mom, um, she don't. She on her own gun, but she don't have a Glock. But look, well, you see what I'm saying? Um, no, it, it's my car, but it's in my mom's name. Okay. But what's it called? When I haven't drove this car in a long time. Who's been driving it? nobody like the car the this is who you following this dude got his mom's car or his car in his mom's name which you know is something that could be done and you got a glock magazine in the back in the trunk you see why this mom came down and spaz on her son if this is who he riding around with Four doors being unlocked, everything, it's just been we sitting on, I mean, on my street. I swear. Okay, I, I get that, but you're just not throwing magazines in people's cars. I know, but I've been throwing nothing out. No, okay. you know, so, so, so here's, the, here's the thing, man. If my dog finds it, that's just another charge on you. But here's the thing. If we don't find it and some kid gets it in the same area you fled from, uses it in crime, shoots somebody else, that comes back on you. We'll tie it to you. So did any of your passengers throw anything out? Because I mean, we will eventually tie it back to you or whoever, whoever's DNA is on it. All right. So that'll save a lot in the long run if you just be straight with us. Okay. Hey, I, did, nobody, threw nobody threw nothing out. So as you see, man, 
the mom came to that young child and told him the real. He needed to hear the real. But then you see the person that he's following. He basically got a whole magazine in the trunk and allegedly threw a, a gun out the car. And the cop was like, yo, we find that gun. And that gun is tied to a crime. It's on you. Man, what are your thoughts on that video, man? We need more moms like that. We need more moms like that that know that their kid is going on the right path. Or more parents, for that matter. It could be mom, dad, guardian, uncle, whoever got the kid's ear. We need more of that. You know your child is going down the right path. And one night with a crash dummy could ruin their whole entire life. Or in their whole entire life. Man, that video is deep, man. That video is deep. Appreciate you guys, man. Also, if you like this kind of content, you find value in this kind of video, please hit subscribe. I'm trying to get 10,000 subscribers. That's my next milestone, and I appreciate your help. Appreciate y'all. All right, man, till next time. Peace. Real Rap Ron is signing off. All right, later. One. Also, if you like this kind of content, check out this other video YouTube suggested. I didn't suggest it. YouTube did. And hit subscribe. All right, peace.